Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God and I'm coming on here today because I've seen some reports of earthquake activity, especially around California, along the coast, as well as on one of the channels I saw some information about earthquake activity in the desert area of California. So I'm going to play a clip from Mr. MBB333, and then I'm going to give you a portion of a video that I did back in January about earthquake activity in California. So let's take a look at this, and I just want to put that out there so people are forewarned about what could be happening on the West Coast. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Breaking news coming out of Northern California, about 140 miles off the coast. Here within the last hour, there was a, a shallow 5.5 earthquake that did trigger a tsunami alert because the earthquake was so shallow. This occurred at 11.44 a.m. just about an hour ago. At first, it was coming in at 1.3 miles deep, and it's since been upgraded by the, the USGS to 10 kilometers deep, which is 6.2 miles and that's right here off the coast of northern california again triggering a tsunami alert looking at the global seismographs this earthquake is way too early to show up on any of these seismographs yet and more than likely it won't show up on all of the seismographs around the world but definitely the ones closest to the united states and the ones in the united states and looking at the seismographs over here at the yellowstone super volcano caldera you can see the the primary wave from the 5.5 earthquake was detected over here on most of the seismographs that red vertical line you see right there that's the 5.5 earthquake that occurred off the coast of california again being detected over here at the yellowstone super volcano caldera that was a very shallow strong earthquake again off the coast of northern california and the strong solar activity continues looking at the goes x-ray flux you can see that as well as i did hear in my spirit the word California recently. I believe it was in April. Let me show you real quick here. On Tuesday, April 11th, I heard the word California at 12 17 p.m. and I did look it up on Strong's Concordance in the Greek. And I believe it was creator and builder. And you know who the creator is, right? As well as, here's the portion of my video. that speaks about a an earthquake this i recorded back in january and it was speaking about the ground pulling away scripture is the book of nahum Chapter 1, verse 5 in the King James Version Bible, and it reads, The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence, yea, the world, and all that dwell therein. The fourth and final scripture is the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, verses 5 through 9 in the King James Version Bible, and it reads, and ye shall flee to the valley of the mountains, for the valley of the mountains shall reach unto Azalea. Ye shall flee like as ye fled from before the earthquake in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah. And the Lord my God shall come, and all the saints with thee. And it shall come to pass in that day that the light shall not be clear nor dark, but it shall be one day which shall be known to the Lord, not day nor night, but it shall come to pass that at evening time it shall be light, 
And it shall be in that day that living water shall go out from Jerusalem, half of them toward the former sea, and half of them toward the hinder sea, in summer and in winter shall it be. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord, and his name one. Now for the message given from the Lord God on January the 21st, 2023. In this season, tribulation is falling upon the land, America. Pockets of shifting sand in California is making the land unstable and movable. Any tremors of significant magnitude will make the ground-soaked land falter. Watch for the areas where the tectonic plates are located. Even into the northern states of Oregon and Washington will ultimately become destabilized. The repeated storms over areas where rain barely fell before are affecting the lower layers of ground closer to the tectonic plates. Water is infiltrating where the plates meet and is seeping into the once firmly packed soil. The entire state of California needs to be geologically surveyed for water penetration depths underground. In some areas closer to the coastline, the earth is more sandy and is shifting quickly into the ocean. Check for deep separations in the roadways and around residential areas where homes foundations are laid. If there are any indications of cracking or separation of the earth from homes or places of business, report them to the insurance companies. If these cracks become deeper and wider, then it means the land beneath the structure is shifting and the structure will ultimately cave in on itself, even into the ocean. Pack your bags and move to a more stable land mass away from the tectonic plate intersections. Don't hesitate, for you will be lucky to have days before the ground moves in waves from an earthquake tremor. Be aware and take care to heed the warning. There are surveys beginning and some information is not being publicized for fear of panic and insurance companies losing an exorbitant amount of money. If you own your own home, then sell it with a disclaimer from any surveyor. Get out of these destabilized properties ASAP. See, you have been warned, your Lord and Almighty Protector, Jesus. Okay, so also I received an email from one of my viewers, and she also sent me a link about a prophecy about a man, I believe it was from the 1930s, who had fallen off of a horse and he went into the hospital, and it's about a half an hour video. I'm going to try to find it and link it down below. But what happened was, is he kept um, having these dreams that he was in California, and he kept seeing these different scenes in California. And then ultimately what happened was that he was there witnessing 
a major earthquake and he could see all the people and what they were doing in their day-to-day -day lives on that day, but they could not see him. And he was explaining what was going on. And I know one of the things was that he remembers was he did not hear any birds chirping at all. So that was like a sign to him that something uh, earth shattering was about to happen. And then at the end of the video, I remember uh, watching it and he was saying how uh, there were ham radio people on radios. They couldn't really um, get the information out there fast enough, but they were screaming and, and yelling and saying that California was falling into the ocean uh, and like reporting like this was the last message that was coming out of California because of the earthquake. So I wanted to make sure that I did do my due diligence here because I know in Second Corinthians chapter 2 verse 13, let me go there real quick. This is Paul's letter to the Corinthians. It says here, this is the third time I am coming to you. Every charge must be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. I warn those who sin before and all the others, and I warn them now while absent, as I did when present on my second visit, that if I come again, I will not spare them. Since you seek proof that Christ is speaking in me, he is not weak in dealing with you, but is powerful among you, for he was crucified in weakness, but lives by the power of God, for we also are weak in him, but in dealing with you, we live with him by the power of God. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in the faith, test yourselves, or do you not realize this about yourselves, that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you fail to meet the test, I hope you will find out that we have not failed the test, but we pray to God that you may not do wrong, not that we may appear to have met the test, but that you may do what is right, though we may seem to have failed, for we cannot do anything against the truth, but only for the truth. For we are glad that when we are weak and you are strong, your restoration is what we pray for. For this reason, I write these things while I am away from you, that when I come, I may not have to be severe in my use of the authority that the Lord has given me for building up and not for tearing down. But what's key here, it says here at the beginning, In verse, actually, actually one and two looks like it says here, this is the third time I am coming to you. Every charge must be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. I warned those who sinned before and all the others. And I warn them now while absent as I did when present on my second visit that if I come again, I will not spare them. So that passage came to mind that this is a warning that I need to get out there. And if this is a possible judgment, it could be something to wake everyone up. So if you don't know who your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is, get a Bible today, learn of his life, realize that he died on a cross on Mount Calvary, shedding his blood so that your sins may be forgiven and accept him into your hearts and believe that he died. His blood protection covers you. You were saved by grace through faith in him. Turn away from sin now and accept him into your hearts so that you will be able to be found worthy to escape with him when he comes in the sky. And may God bless you.